Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thanks for joining me once again. Um, it's a beautiful fall day out here. It's about 70 degrees, a little bit overcast, but hey, I figured I got the day off uh, do some beer reviews. So with that said, let's get into this one. I've gotten a lot of requests for this one um, on the 400th subscriber extravaganza prize giveaway thing. A lot of people sent me messages saying they want to see this beer. Fort Brewing, this is their older viscosity. Um, comes in at 12.5%. It is a limited release. Basically, it is their their old viscosity imperial stout that they put in bourbon barrels for six months and then at the end of that six months they'll blend the different you know they'll taste from different barrels and then blend the barrels together and then at that point they have older viscosity so I'm expecting a lot less carbonation in this one I'm expecting some of the booziness of old viscosity to kind of go down um, kind of more of the chocolate notes more of the coffee notes kind of coming out of this one uh, yeah so with that said let me get this one into a glass like you know how it smells how it tastes and give you the verdict on Port Brewing's older viscosity all right, so the appearance on the older viscosity, you know, it's what you would expect out of an Imperial Stout. It's black as night, um, very little head, but at 12.5%, you know, you're not expecting a whole lot of head retention on this one. The head that is there is this really dark brown, just kind of coating the side of the of the glass. Um, you can see the, the feet of the, the alcohol clinging to the glass. Um, so you know it's a big one, you can't see anything through it. Like I said, black as night, just a very, very typical, really big Imperial Stout. All right, so the aroma on the older viscosity. Yeah, you get a lot of the bourbon characters in there. Um, there's lots of vanilla. You get a lot of that oakiness um, from the from the bourbon barrels. Uh, yeah, lots of alcohol in there. I was, I'm actually surprised by the amount of alcohol in the nose. I didn't think a lot of that. You would figure after six months, a lot of that would kind of dissipate based on the barrel aging, but a little bit of coffee in there. Um, dark chocolate's definitely present in this one. Yeah, roasted malts. Yeah, it smells like a very big beer aged in <laughs> old bourbon barrels. It's a, a, a very, very good smelling beer. All right, so the taste on the older viscosity. Whoa. That is a monster beer. It just has really, really big chocolate notes. Right in the front of the mouth, there's huge amounts of chocolate. By the middle mouth, there's a lot of vanilla in there, um, a lot of oakiness, and the vanilla is from the, from the bourbon flavors. The alcohol just kind of is burning a little bit in the mouth. Lots of toasted notes in there, a lot of really deep dark chocolate that's actually kind of, after you swallow it, that's kind of what I'm getting, um, more chocolate in the mouth, kind of like a really dark chocolate taste in the mouth. Just coat your mouth, mouthfeel out the ass on this one. Um, lots of bourbon characters in this one. The, the barrel aging does huge amounts for this beer. Um, it is still boozy, so you know, it, it's again, it's not an easy beer to drink, but definitely, definitely an, an excellent tasting beer. All right, so the verdict on Port Brewing's older viscosity, 12.5%. Available limited time. This is actually the newest batch, just came out. Um, from what I understand, it's from San Marcos, California. It's nearly impossible to find on the East Coast. I actually got a bottle from Stumpy Joe Jr. out in San Diego. He got it from the, I guess from the brewery. And I got a bottle from Chicago, actually. So they have it in Chicago, but can't get it on the East Coast. You know, it's an excellent beer. It's a very well balanced big beer. I'm gonna give this one an A. Um, it's verging on an A plus. It's up there in my eyes, you know, with uh, Goose Island's Bourbon County Stout, um, KBS, which is another really big kind of boozy bourbony type of Imperial Stout. There's chocolate notes in there. There's um, huge amounts of the bourbon barrel aging flavors left in there. Lots of vanilla, lots of coffee flavor in there. The roasted malts, the alcohol, um, the chocolate just kind of all really come together to make a really, really well blended, you know, good tasting sipping beer. Um, and I'm definitely gonna put the other bottle in the basement, cellar it for a couple months, see how it turns out. I think some of the hotness from the alcohol definitely kind of go away. But yeah, with that said, if you can get this stuff, definitely check a bottle out. It's really, really, really tasty. Um, especially we're coming into the fall season, winter season, this would be a great beer for that. So with that said, my friends, life's too short, drink amazing beers, cheers.